want to try and squeeze two questions in from our audience. They dropped in a number of times, which is why I want to try and squeeze these in if possible. And gentlemen, the first one was just dealing with a, a hypothetical situation. Uh, if one were to have, say, lots of inexperienced underwriters in their team, have you seen perhaps automation, maybe anything that we've discussed, help them get up to speed? Well, I think, you know, one thing I'll, I'll just jump in here with, um, you know, finding good analyst talent is not easy. Uh, but when you have an experience, uh, you know, I think about the team that we have here at Millennium, all my analysts except one came into these roles with very little experience. And we were able to hand them tools um, that were able to give them confidence in what they were looking at uh, and confidence in that the, the information was being entered in an accurate manner, right? So I think of one example like uh, a solution like an electronic tax return reader that's offered through the Abrigo platform, uh, the ability to get a stack of four or five years of tax returns uh, in your inbox in PDF format and plunk those into uh, a system like that that can give an output that is consistent, that is quick, you know, and cut their time to sit there and, you know, do, you know, probably 45 minutes, maybe an hour to hour and a half of data entry, depending on how many tax returns they're entering manually, and turn that into 30 seconds or less. And now they've got the information in front of them and they can spend more of their time on the creative things of, of learning how to analyze the numbers. Um, I think equipping them with that type of tool and also um, education to back that up, you know, so that they know how to interpret those, those results. Got it. And the, the last question I really wanted to squeeze in here, just with the, with the dying embers that we have, just asking, do you see loan documentation often as a huge hurdle for financial institutions and, and how are others going about addressing that issue? Yeah, John, I'll start this one. I mean, yeah, it's it's been a huge issue for uh, financial institutions for years, right? That's why, you know, you see a lot of people moving to electronic doc files and all these fun things. And uh, I think one of the things, I think John mentioned it earlier, is if you can get the right information. I've seen a lot of loan documentation is you throw as much stuff in there so you get approval by the weight of the presentation, right? So it's getting the right information that you need and not getting an ancillary information that you're not really <clears throat> using in the credit decision and understanding what you need in the file versus what you don't need in the file uh, would be helpful tips to help avoid that. But you're not alone in the struggle of uh, loan documentation for sure. And John, I don't know if you have any more input on that or not, but. Yeah, I think one of the biggest things that we've seen, um, you know, let's face it, documentation's not going away, right? But getting into that electronic format, and I think even more importantly, having the ability to organize the information so that whether it's someone internally that's going back uh, to review that information or whether it's an external team of auditors that are coming into your bank, you're able to hand those people um, you know, the tools to have a very organized digital loan file. Um, that's really helped us uh, and, and thinking through, you know, how to utilize uh, a platform like Abrigo and their document library solution and start organizing those documents into files and associating those documents to the relevant loans. And it's very easy to, to basically put those into that database and have it be able to be pulled up very quickly, uh, whether they're here on site or even remote, um, as we know a lot of the a lot of the audits have been taking place remotely with COVID. So, um, but yeah, I think getting organized is one of the biggest keys there.